SenseMark makes it easy to send personalized videos at scale in your Skylead LinkedIn automation. So when you send a video through LinkedIn, your viewer is going to see um, their first name on the video preview here. The way you set this up, first you record or upload your video into SenseMark. If you already have a video, just click on this upload button here to upload it. And if you want to record a new one, then you can click start recording to record yourself, your screen, or yourself over your screen in the floating bubble like this. And then to add the dynamic personalization, you just click into the video that you want to edit. And on the left side here, you can edit um, like the text around the video. So this header um, at the top, this is what's going to show up in this first line here on LinkedIn. Um, so you can write whatever you want someone to see. And you can add placeholders for their name um, or their company or job type, depending on what you want to do. So what you would do, I'll delete this so you can see. Um, you can just write, hey, and then click on this personalized tag. And now you can see their first name, company name, or job title. Um, so you can add this here. You can also customize this message, which is what goes below the video. And people are going to see this after they click the video preview that, that you sent. And then it opens on a new page like this. And this is where they can see this message as well as your call to action, um, which is what they should do immediately after watching the video. If you want them to schedule time in your calendar or learn more or sign up free, um, you can add all of that in the button here. Once everything looks good and is ready to share, just click on this share video option. And then you can copy the snippet um, for Skylead. And then what you want to do is just go into your Skylead sequence and you can paste it here. Um, so all you want to do is paste it in this message and then make sure to set the fallbacks here. So you need to set a fallback for your company, um, for the role. And then you also have to fill out this days and, um, and hours. And then if everything looks good, you'll see this blue in your LinkedIn automation. Um, one tip to keep in mind when you send the videos in LinkedIn, this preview message only shows if you're already connected to the person you're reaching out to. So if you send a video in your connection request um, or in an email when you're not connected, they just see the link and it's not as engaging as when they can see, you know, like your face in their um, in mail. So what I recommend is setting up a sequence like this um, where the first step is that you invite them to connect and then only if connected, uh, send the video as a message. And this way you're going to see a little bit more engagement. Um, and I usually just leave the connection request empty. Um, so kind of up to you if you want to add a message there or just leave it blank and then save the message for after you're already connected. Let us know if there's anything we can help with. Uh, really happy to see you using video to connect at scale and happy recording.